Hi, in this video, I'll tell you the difference between fit transform and fit transform, which is widely used in most of the SQLearn classes. So I'll explain you with the help of computer. Let's start the video. So here I'm in spider and I have loaded the data set. So I'll just run it quickly. And you see, this is my data set. How does it looks like? It has three columns in it and uh, every column has a NaN value. Now, for those of you who don't know about what imputer do, it generally uh, is used to fill out those NaN values with some strategies such as mean or mode or and like average. OK, so let's just uh, first start by importing a uh, imputer. OK, so here I've imputed simple imputer. Now I'll instantiate it. Now, as I said, you can choose the strategy to be mean, median or mode, I guess. So let's just choose the strategy to be mean. Well, that's just by default, but let's just do it. So let us first talk about fit function. What fit function do? Now, as I said, the work of a uh, simple imputer or imputer is to fill the NaN values with some strategy. In this case, we want the strategy to be mean over here. Now, when I say fit to this first column, what will happen? It will going to take all the required values to be filled with the NaN. So in this case, it will going to calculate the mean of the first column, but not going to fill with the NaN because we are not calling transform and the work of transform it is to fill the values which are calculated at the time of fitting to the data. Now let's see what do I mean by that. OK, so as I said, I'm going to fill my uh, simple imputer with the first column. And when I say fit on the first column, then what it will do, it is it is going to calculate the mean and store it some type of temporary variable. And then next time when I will call the transform onto this IMP, which is fit onto first column, then it is going to take the value from that temporary variable and fill out the values of with the NAN. Now, it doesn't mean that fit works differently in simple imputer and differently in, let's say, label encoder or differently in, let's say, one hot encoding. The working of fit and transform is just same. Try to understand what I am trying to tell you. Fit is going to take the all values required by that particular class to do its work. Now, next time when I'll call transform onto this IMP or onto some other column, it's going to fill that column with that mean of this column. So let us uh, calculate the mean. Obviously, 3 plus 1 divided by 2, it is 2. Now, let us do one thing. Let us transform it. So I'll say IMP dot transform. All right. So now if I just show you my first column, it is 5, NaN and 2. Now, as I have explained, this NaN should be replaced by 2 since the mean of the first column is 2. All right, so if I run this, you'll see that the if I just open DF once again, then the values are not replaced in the data set itself. So for doing that, there is something you just have to say very simple. You just have to give the column whatever column you want to replace. In this case, I want to replace this first column. Since this is going to be a vector and this is giving us 2D array, returning us 2D array. So we need to reshape it to a vector, which is length of three. If I run this, then open this DF once again, you see that it is replaced by two. OK, so I hope uh, now you know what is the work of fit and transform. Now, what is the work of fit transform fit underscore transform? Well, you can guess it fit transform just is a combination of fit and transform. It is fitting onto the data, whatever you pass to it and then transforming it. So let's just quickly see that how it works. All right. So currently we have this data set over here. Now I'm going to fit and transform onto this column, which is second column. And it is, it is having a mean of five. You can calculate. So for doing fit transform, what I'll do, I'll just say IMP dot fit underscore transform. It is going to fit on that data and then transform that data. So if I run it and I show you my DF once again, you see that it is six, five, six, four and five. So this is basically all about fit transform and fit transform. I hope you should have no queries now regarding fit transform and fit underscore transform. If you have still any queries, you may just ask them in down comment section. That's it. Bye.